Oh yeah, YouTubers, this is Andu, and I'm here with another mod snapshot. This one being, quite obviously, a Nerf rival Apollo with an integrated shoulder stock. Now, many people have done shoulder stocks on the Apollo by now, usually repurposing either N-Strike Elite stocks or 3D printing something, and they all do the job, they're all functional, but you know me, I like form and function together. And I really thought the Zeus stock would look and feel good on the Apollo. So that's exactly what I did. Here you can see this is the integrated shoulder stock of a Zeus that was chopped off and epoxied on. Now there's a little more to it than that. My original plan was to cut the Apollo straight down this line here all the way to the bottom and that would have left this whole area open. And while I was doing my cut Starting from the top with a little hand hacksaw from metal and plastic, I realized that I could cut along another line on the shell here, and it would fill more of the space. It would look better. Give it, uh, in the end, I'm going to have less to fill in over here, and it gives me a lot more surface area for my epoxy. It's a lot more solid, a lot more straight connection. And I'm really happy that I thought of that while I was going along. As some of you may have heard me say before, especially on my Facebook page and in the Nerf groups on Facebook, my personal philosophy is think ten times, measure five, cut once, carefully. So that's how this whole thing came about. And as you can see, it went together pretty darn well. So there is going to be some more filling over here eventually, that sort of thing. Um, filling some of the holes there in the shell, that sort of thing, but I'm really happy with how it went together. So I want to give you a full idea of how this went together. First of all, um, to make room for everything inside, I had to chop down the battery tray. This used to project all the way out to here, something like that, to hold a bunch of C batteries, I believe. So I chopped it down short enough that it goes in here without interfering with anything but long enough that I can fit some batteries in here for LEDs, which I plan to do on this project eventually. So I'll set that aside for now. And when this comes apart, well, actually, no, I want to show you something first. Um, this is easier to do with the shell together. When I prime the blaster, which from this angle is fairly difficult, and I take it apart, you can see inside that there's no interference with the internals. I might need to do just a little trimming on the front of this piece here to make sure um, that doesn't catch. They're, they're not touching, but they're nested together, and it's a little closer than I'd like. Um, so I'm going to do a little more trimming on this black piece here, but everything retracts into here beautifully, including this black arm. So let me do a quick fire when this comes back this black arm retracts all the way back here and again none of those components here or here interfere with anything else so then as far as how the actual connection was done, I'm going to pull these internals out and set them aside. I followed these shell lines on the Apollo when I was cutting. So I cut along here. And then there was another shell line that came across here, and I followed that. And I just followed the lines. Now, because of the way I did the cut following those lines, my cut ended up being slightly angled to the front, but the gap really isn't noticeable at all uh, from any distance. And I'm going to smooth that out later. On the inside, you can see here, I used a fairly liberal amount of epoxy. I used just a little bit to put it all together, and then I added a bunch more later for reinforcement. It is also touching here. That was epoxied together. You, here you can see the sanding from my preparation. And here you can see that I filled this area in on the stock with epoxy putty, which I then used a belt sander to sand down so that when this goes together, I have a nice flat surface there. Of 
Of course, this still has the screws in it, so takes a little time to get together. All oh, these snapshots are fun. And there is just a little spacing there. Um, this isn't pushed all the way together. Just a teeny tiny little gap, but there's going to be a switch there for LEDs eventually. So it was a really simple project. And this is going to turn into a much larger project with several more integrations in the future. Um, but it was just a lot of careful cutting, so some good planning. And here you can see I also had to grind down all these ribs in here to make room for all the internals. But it is very comfortable. The one downside is this is eventually going to get a large forward integration as well. So as is, this is plenty comfortable. But this shoulder stock might be a little long. And I could have chopped it down here on this line, but then I wouldn't have had a nice flat surface, as you can see here, to work with. Uh, additionally, uh, to get a more comfortable length of pull, that is a shorter length from the trigger to the shoulder stock, I could have cut it you know, anywhere along here. Um, probably here. The problem is, I find this to be a very comfortable cheek rest, and if I cut it down all the way to here, or further, my face would have been up against this sharp point here. And I didn't want that sticking into my nose or into my cheek. I wanted this. So I'm going to bite the bullet, except that this is going to be a little bit long, a little unwieldy when it's done, but it's going to be really comfortable anyway. It's going to be really functional, and I'm very happy with how this is going. So when I uh, get some more work done on this, I'm working on the plan for how I'm integrating the front half of this. You can bet there will be a mod snapshot for that here. There will also be pictures in the Nerf Facebook groups, Nerf Modders Welcome, as well as others. And on my Facebook page, there's a link to that in the description below. Otherwise, just search on Facebook for Andu Majomi. Uh, you'll find my page eventually, Nerf Minecraft Legos and more, Andu Majomi. And I will be posting much more frequently there. So that's that. Um, I'm really looking forward to how this is going. This is the first time I've integrated a Zeus shoulder stock. But not the last. I have done another, and I will do a snapshot on that sometime in the next week. As always, YouTubers, thanks for watching, and keep your stick on the ice.